Ugandan independent graphic artist and animator, Solomon Yagwe, has produced a 3D animated movie about a mountain gorilla called Galiwango. The film aims to raise awareness about the plight of mountain gorillas in Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The film also showcases Luganda, a language widely spoken in Uganda. VOA's Paul Ndiho has more. Windy National Park in southwestern Uganda is home to almost one-third of the world's last 700 wild mountain gorillas. The rest are in nearby areas of Rwanda and Congo. Wild wildlife conservationists say that mountain gorillas are facing pressures that could drive them into extinction. Galiwango film producer Solomon Jagwe, who is based in the U.S., has teamed up with Uganda Wildlife Authority to work on a new movie about conserving mountain gorillas in Windy National Park. Well, what I'm trying to do is raise awareness to the plight of the mountain gorillas uh, living in Rwanda, Uganda, and the DRC. And one, one thing that I've noticed is that when I've watched the Discovery Channel, the National Geographic, all the really good programs geared towards raising awareness to those mountain gorillas are written in English. And yet the people that are up, the, where the areas, uh, the, the most endangered areas for the mountain gorillas, the people hardly speak or write English. So what I'm trying to do is create a film, an animated film, that uh, is written in our native language, Luganda. I'm starting with Luganda because it's the most widely spoken local language in Uganda. The film is based on a comic book about a game ranger and focuses on why mountain gorillas are important and their role in ecotourism, which can improve local livelihoods. The, the comic book is written around the story of a, a game ranger who used to be a game ranger but then becomes a rebel and uh, also a poacher because he's trying to raise money for his family, but he's, he's poor, so he's drawn into that illegal trade. And that's a danger that is actually affecting the game rangers. So I'm trying to raise awareness to the work, the hard work that these game rangers put in to uh, protect the mountain gorillas every single day. Wind is fat of volcanic soils and high rainfall make it one of the most densely populated areas on Earth where people rely heavily on the forest for wood and charcoal. Mr. Jagwe says that protecting gorillas in this region is one of the smartest investments that Ugandans can make. My expectations are that as Ugandans, as Rwandese, as uh, people from the DRC, that we actually become aware of this rare gift that we have because they only exist in those three countries and nowhere else in the world. There are only about 720 left in the entire world. So if, they, if the locals can take part, actively take part in protecting and not selling these baby gorillas on the local black market, not killing them for bushmeat, then we would have made a big difference. Conservationists say the vast forest covering southwestern Uganda's uh, vast forest is in decline due to population growth, expanding farmlands and the burning of trees for fuel. The poaching of wildlife in the region has intensified recently to the point where wildlife has been driven from their natural habitats. And over the last 10 years, some 130 park rangers have been killed while cracking down on poachers, illegal miners and rebels in the region. Paul Ndihau, VOA News.